Number 16. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have to write the QC for the formula NH4Cl solid, which comes to equilibrium with NH3 gas plus HCl gas. Okie dokie. So the QC formula is a very generalized formula. It kind of goes with the KC formula, and it's this one. I'll put it over here. Now the QC, the C stands for concentration, aka molarity values. So when we actually do uh, work with actual math and actual numbers, we have to have only molarity values in this formula. And to state that, we use these brackets, okay? So the brackets just means we need molarity, and the reaction is products divided by reactants. Now just know for each product or for each reaction, you have to raise that compound by the coefficient, aka the big number in the front. Now I'm just scanning this and I say, well, wait a minute, I don't see any coefficients in the front. So I would just pause and just say, is this balanced? I'm scanning it and it is a balanced equation. So I can proceed. Now you got to play by the rules. If we're going to use the QC formula, there's only two states that are allowed in the formula. Aqueous, which is AQ, and gas, which are gases. No solids, so no S's, and no liquids, no L's, okay? So just look at the states, but look at this, guys. I got a solid, I got a gas, and I got a gas. Can you tell me which one of those is not going to be allowed in the QC formula? Yeah, it's the solid, right? Only aqueous and gases are allowed, no solids. So I don't care whether you put a big X through the whole, you know, the whole compound, or I'll just put a, a little X right under the state. The other ones, though, they're good. They're both gases, so I just checked that off. Now I have like a little, you know, system that I can see who I'm actually going to plug into my QC formula. So now let's go. QC equals, I'm going to write the... The formula, I'm going to do that in my low division sign, and I'm going to work from top to bottom. So products first. This is the product side, right? So NH3, doesn't really matter which one you say first, let's just work from left to right. So I have NH3, so I got to say bracket, NH3. When you're plugging in for your QC, you don't have to write in the states anymore. Close that bracket, and now I just got to raise it by the coefficient. But for NH3, I don't see a number in the front. Oh, that means that there's only one of them. So I can put a one here, but technically anything raised to the first is itself. So it doesn't really need to be there. Now here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple compounds on one side, so you have NH3 and HCl on your product side, even though there's a plus sign here, it's not this plus HCl, right? These are being multiplied. So whether you put the multiplication sign or you could just put the bracket right next door, that's fine with me. But now I put the HCl, close the bracket, and now what's the coefficient? Well, there was none. Well, that means that there was one. So I can put the one, but I don't have to. Now I'm done with the products, but looky here, guys. The reactant, there was only one reactant and it was a solid, so I can't use it. So I basically, instead, just need a placeholder down on the bottom because there's no other reactant on this side. So what's the placeholder number? Yeah, if you just need a placeholder, you're always going to use the number 1. And that's it. But simplify it up. This is too easy. You're not going to see this on a test or a quiz, right? Remember, anything divided by 1 is itself. So I'm going to skip, well not skip, but get rid of the 1 and get rid of the division sign. The QC is just equal to the numerator. And that's it. So in this case, the QC is just the concentration of NH3 times the concentration of the HCl. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I really hope I'm giving you good quality, you know, educational content out there. So just let me know, all right? Um... Go check the channel out. We've got physics videos. We've got math videos. You know, more chem videos for you guys. So just check it out. All right. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.